Wow, guys, the castle. Oh, you guys, she is absolutely going to be popping in these streets. Disney and today we are back in the parks but today we're going to Disneyland now yes I know a lot of you subscribers shout out to y'all have been like why is this girl always in California Adventure well guys because California Adventure is popping right now okay but we are back at Disneyland because I want to take you guys to the tropical hideaway yes guys now the reason I'm going there is because Aladdin's live-action movie is now in theaters and Tropical Hideaway used to be Aladdin's Oasis. So I figured why not go back there to kind of like commemorate the movie. And look, I got my Aladdin ears on or Princess Jasmine ears, whatever. But I'm very excited, you guys. So I want you guys to come along with me. We're going to try the food. And I'm also going to show you some merchandise because I know in World of Disney and inside the parks, they have like magic lamps and some genie stuff, like the Will Smith genie, not the OG genie. But um, nevertheless, I'm going to show you guys the merchandise first and then we're going to eat some food. All right, let's go. Alright guys, let's head in here and see if we find some Aladdin merch. Alright guys, still looking for Aladdin merchandise. They also have these ears on, um, these ears that I have on in this store for $27.99. That's a part of the Aladdin collection also, but let's see if we can find the actual um, Aladdin merchandise. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was walking for so long I finally found it. It's in front of me. One sec. You guys, what? What? Okay, okay, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, Disney. Look at this. $80. Y'all did not tell me about that. <gasps> what about this shirt? Oh my gosh. Look at this. <gasps> With the whole old school. Yes, you guys. Hold on. <gasps> oh my gosh. How much is this? $34.99, you guys. Don't worry. I'm going to fold it back. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. Abu. Abu. <gasps> $19.99. I have to buy that for my nephews. Oh my god. Oh my god. The clutch, you guys look. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's here on the model. Okay, it's here on the model. So they have this T-shirt, and she has this on, you guys. Oh my gosh! I'm actually freaking out, guys. Like that shirt is cute. But look at this, twenty nine ninety nine, right? Look how cute. But wait, the tail, the tail, the tail, the tail, the tail, the tail. The tail, like, give me inches, give me life, honey. Yes, guys. Alex and Ani bracelets. Oh my gosh, forty nine ninety five for this one, and this one over here is forty four ninety five. <gasps> Come on, Alex and Ani. Look, keychains. <gasps> jazz, jazz. Oh my gosh, I need this one, guys. $33.99 for this shirt, guys. Like, come on. <gasps> Y'all better stop playing with me. Genie. An old school genie. How much is genie, y'all? How much is genie? Genie is $26.99, guys. Genie is $26.99. Yes. Guys, they have the mugs here. $19.99 for the mugs. Like, oh. They have this hat, but I know there's more merch. Cause I saw a, a <gasps> oh my god, you guys, it's right here behind me. <laughs> Y'all should have said, oh what the oh my god! <gasps> pan out, pan out, pan out, pan out. All right, let's get into this merch, guys. You guys, the jacket, the jacket. Y'all better stop playing with me. Y'all better stop playing with me. Sixty nine ninety nine. Okay, the back is is plain. $69.99. Um, yes. Magic lamp, $24.99. And you rub it. Let's see, you press the on button. Oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> he said three wishes, y'all. Oh my god, he's talking. Amazing. Oh my god. That's so cute. Let's get the prize. $24.99. So all of this is like new Aladdin because she definitely don't look like the OG Jasmine. Probably the new girl. 
Um, but yeah, let's see what else. Look at that. I wonder if that's this right here. Oh, this is. Okay, so this is what this is. And it's a genie, li ooh, limited edition. Look, let's see if the price is limited edition price, okay? Y'all know, know Disney be trying it. Yep, $149.99. Yep, it's gonna have to stay limited edition. <laughs> okay. Um, look, you guys. There's a tea set. Oh my gosh, with two cups. $65, but this actually seems kind of worth it, you guys. I'm into this. It's really heavy, so that means it's really good quality in there. You got Will Smith. <laughs> Looking like the genie. I don't know, y'all. Watch the movie and tell me if he did a good job. He kills it and everything else. He's one of my faves, but I don't know about this genie. But let's see. $24.99. So $24.99 for Will. $24.99 for Jasmine. And she sings a whole new world, girl. You better stop playing. I sing a whole new world, too. Girl, you better, you better come on vocals. Can y'all hear that? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes, queen. Look at this. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm le legit. Like, even though I'm showing you guys things, I know I keep gasping because I'm so excited when I see the stuff. Like, I did not even see this here. This is $34.99. This is oh, my God. You guys. The magic carpet. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. $26.99, you guys. I can't. I'm not going to pull it out, but it's a magic carpet beach towel, y'all. A beach towel. Y'all better stop playing with me, Disney. Take all the coins. All right? Take them all. Look. Pops. The Pop Aladdins. $14.99 each. You got everybody named Mama here. This shirt is $34.99, guys. And then here is the mannequin with the outfit on. Yes. You better give me Aladdin tees. Yes, honey. Guys, and this is what that first shirt I showed you looked like on, looks like on the mannequin. Like, this is cute. Like, give me my 90s back, you guys. Give it to me now. I'm into it. All right, guys. That was so cute. Everything is so cute. I'm definitely buying a lot of those things, but I really want to get to Tropical Hideaway now. Um, so let's head over there, guys, inside of Disneyland, in Adventureland. Super, super excited. Um, but you got to come and check out that Aladdin first, oh, you know? You oh, my gosh. It loves us. <laughs> <Bye. She's> my boss. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so let's go. All right, guys, so right outside of World of Disney, when you're going into the parks, they have the pin, um, what is this called? Pin cart. Pin cart, just the pin cart. And they have a light in merchandise too. So look, you guys, these pins right here, if you're into pins, $29.99. And I'm gonna turn around and show you the other pins that they have. Guys, so this is Genie, the movie Genie, the new movie Genie. That one is $9.99. This is the old school Genie with the lamp, you guys. $12.99. And this is Princess Jasmine, guys. So cute. All these pins. You don't even have to go in the park if you're into collecting pins. It's this cart right here, right outside of World of Disney. Guys, what is going on today? Look at the line to get in, and it's super early in the morning. What are y'all doing? Giving away diamonds? Almost there, guys. Let's do this. All right, guys. So we're going in. Right here is the OG magic carpet. But let's go in, guys. I think the sounds of this water are so relaxing when you're eating over here, guys. I love it. And there's Jungle Cruise. But let's take a look here. So Dole Whip, we know how that is. Dole Whip float. Loaded Dole Whip float. Used to be called the ambush because they used to bang the gong and say, it's an ambush. And then they stopped doing it like two weeks later. They were tired of it. Um, the bows, sweet lumpia. Let's just get everything. Let's just do it, guys. Come on. They also have limited edition sports, which I never get. Um, but they're here. These are your drink options, guys. Right here. Hi. Hi. So can I please get one loaded whip? Um, I want to get a dough whip flow, but not with pineapple swirl. Like you guys can do. We can do pineapple and raspberry. Okay, so yeah. pineapple raspberry swirl with the flow, and then I want to get. Um, just as with the bacon. Okay. Do you want just a soft serve? Just a soft serve. Let's do pineapple. Right? Pineapple and bacon, guys? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm so excited. The bacon is a secret menu option, but I'm going to try it because I don't think it's going to be good, but let's see. Yes. Loaded whip, guys. So excited. Thank you. So bacon, and now we're just waiting on the flow. Do you want a tray? Yes, the flow. Yes, please. Can I have a tray? Thank you. All right, guys. So we're here. 
I'm kind of in a rush to do this because all the icy stuff is starting to melt, um, especially the flow. That's like melting the fastest. So let's get into that. You can get a pineapple flow here, but you can also get a swirl. So I got the pineapple raspberry swirl. You can also do orange raspberry swirl or orange pineapple. I think you can do anything here, um, to be honest. But uh, let's see. Y'all know I got my cheat sheet, the receipt seat. Uh, this is the Dolby flow for $6.49. So this is what it looks like comes with a little umbrella now I'm super into this guys like I love this is all me this is all me with the raspberry in there and it's like a great drink but also like a nice treat that you can eat so let's do with these listen I'm, I'm also very into saving the environment but I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all we got to figure out something else y'all because the paper straws are not it okay they start to get melty and it's I mean not melty but like like for this come on but let's try it Alright guys, I'm into it, um, let me tell y'all about, about her, okay? This is bomb, you taste in the strong pineapple, but because there's raspberry and pineapple swirl in here, it's kind of like melted in there a little bit, so you get some of that raspberry flavor. I prefer this with this raspberry mix, guys, and you all, this is like a double treat for $6.49, you're getting the float, you're getting some juice, and when they all melt together, you get this, you get like this one big amazing dessert, you know? So. <laughs> Y'all better stop playing with me. Y'all better stop playing with me. This is so good, you guys. Um, it's like two treats in one. So come get this. You can obviously get any float, um, any soft serve on there, but I got the raspberry pineapple because it's bomb. <laughs> so I'm really into this, guys. All right. Mm. Let's try the next dish. All right, guys. So the next tea is the loaded whip. Now let me tell y'all about the loaded whip. It used to be called the ambush and they used to bang a gong and say it's an ambush like the first week it was open everybody knew that then all of a sudden they, i don't know they got lazy they started doing it whatever they felt like doing it because one time i bought it they didn't do it at all and then the person behind me bought it and they did it and i was like okay i'm a little offended but this is what it is guys okay so it's this low and um it is $7.99 and it's this is a pineapple orange swirl but like I told y'all you can ask for any kind of swirl here you can just get plain pineapple plain orange you can do raspberry like they won't tell you that but you ask them and you get it in here okay there's shredded coconut there's mandarin oranges there's oh pineapple or mango I think it's I think it's both I don't know pineapple or mango maybe both um candied hibiscus and then these little like pixie chocolate cookie things I forgot the name I think they used to be called pixies or something like that so the only thing I'm not feeling about this is I asked the girl, like, do you guys still do the bomb thing? And she was like, yeah, we do it when it's busier because it causes excitement, but not when it's this dead. It's like, girl, what in the Disney magic? You don't get to pick and choose when you can be magical. It's Disneyland, okay? If y'all do the bomb, do the bomb, girl. <laughs> if anything, early birds should get the worm. Yes, I'm here at 9 a.m. And yes, I'm getting the flow at 9 a.m. And, and who gonna check me? But like, don't do that. That's weird to me, you know? Like, do this, keep the same energy or don't do it at all because I want my bong okay but I did a bong in my head because you would think even if I asked and I'm like recording that she would still do it and she was just like yeah it's not that busy so we know girl <laughs> but anyway let's try this out the float is gonna be Ooh. It's, it's good though so this doesn't have the raspberry this is pineapple orange and I like the pineapple orange mixture also guys mmm I think this pineapple orange may be a winner now Let's try some of the fruits. I know the fruits are gonna be good. It's mandarin oranges. Like, have y'all ever been disappointed by a mandarin orange? Not the ones that are like, you have to peel it, where sometimes they're sweet, like these types right here. Oh, oh. Oh, guys, it's the candied hibiscus. It's the candied hibiscus that makes this dish bomb. Wow, I really thought that was just like an edible decoration, but no, it's like really good and really flavored. Y'all better stop playing with me. Excuse me, y'all better stop playing with me. Like, stop taking all my money. Mmm. It's so good. So. Oh, it broke off. I want to try it with the chocolate. Like, does this make a difference? Does it taste like chocolate covered pineapple? No. Oh. 
That'll make a difference, actually. I actually don't need this. <laughs> I don't need that. Um, but the rest of this you need. I would say out of this and the float, like I told you, the float is like a two in one. You get the float with the um, juice. But this is really good because it feels like an overall treat, you guys. I really like this. The candy hibiscus. Bah! Um, shredded coconut. I can't tell if I'm tasting the shredded coconut because I keep taking each bite. Like, it's all in there with the hibiscus. You know, so I don't know what I'm eating. Let me just see if I can get this little coconut right here. This little one. Oh, okay. So that's giving a nice crunch. It does have a nice crunch. Yeah, I like this. So get the loaded whip. Hopefully if you guys come when it's super busy and you have to wait in a long line, they'll do the bong for you. <laughs> if not, bong yourself. You know? This is good, guys. I'm into it. Let's try the next dish. All right, guys. So for this dish, <laughs> I have been waiting to try her, okay? Ever since I found out that they have a secret menu item where they put candied bacon on these dough whips, I've been waiting to try it because everybody's like, it's amazing, it's amazing. And I'm like, y'all tripping. Y'all are tripping. Keep that bacon or that pork inside of the bowl and give me my sweetness on here, okay? But y'all also know I don't like pineapple and ham pizzas. Shout out to one of my subscribers. I forgot her name, but she commented on one of my videos a long time ago and was like, I like pineapple and ham pizza. I'm like, girl, maybe I'll try it again one day. <laughs> but, um, not a fan but this is what so this is the dough whip with the candy bacon okay so the candy bacon is 99 cents extra the dough whip is 5 cents by itself you could get any flavor dough whip so you could do this candy bacon with raspberry and orange i told her to give me regular pineapple because i feel like there are a lot of dishes that have pineapple and ham and pineapple bacon so i'm like let me at least get something close to what might be good okay it's also starting to melt y'all didn't even see that a whole piece of bacon came off um because it's starting to melt but Let's try it, guys. Let me try the pineapple first. Cause I need to. Well, I need to say a prayer before I put the bacon on there, honey. Ooh, Lord, give me strength. So that's the pineapple by itself. It's simple. You've already had it at the uh, tiki room, okay? But now with the bacon, y'all. Let me try the bacon by itself and see if it's candied or salted. Yes, yeah, bacon. It's smoky bacon too. Like it's bomb by itself, but it's smoky bacon. Like how is this gonna be together? Let's try it. Yeah, I don't need that, y'all. I don't need that. Um, it says with candy bacon, but that, that bacon is not candy. It's not even sweet. I've had sweeter bacon at home for Farmer John's, the maple, brand, um, maple bacon brand or flavor. This is smoky. It's smoky and the texture is weird. The texture's weird with the bacon, y'all. No, your fave lied to you. You don't need this. This is not amazing. I don't like it. I want all the bacon off of here. Let me try it again. Again. I'm, you know, I give you guys first impressions, but you know, sometimes if y'all really watch my video, sometimes I'll change my mind while I'm eating something, for the better or worse. Um, so let me try it again. I don't like that. It's actually making me feel weird now, to be honest. Like that quickly. I know it didn't digest all the way. Come on, guys. I know about the body. I know science. But I don't like that. I don't like it. I, I, uh, I want to spit it out, but I can't. Like the bacon pieces. Um, yeah, it's not. I feel like if you're going to say it's candied bacon, then maybe you could. There's ways to crystallize it. Like, you know, like wrap, put the brown sugar so it's like really sweet because. This is like a, it's a hint of sweetness, but it's smoky. So it's making me feel nauseous, actually. I don't like it. No, guys, don't get that bacon. Save your dollar and get a regular float or something else that is not popping. They lied to you. Dare I say it? Dare I call out my girl? Ursula? <laughs> Ursula, get the wand, girl. Get the wand and come get these poor unfortunate souls, girl. Come down to Tropical Hideaway and come get these poor unfortunate souls, girl. They tried it. They tried it with this, Ursula. Come come get them, girl. Get the wand. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. This is like, I'm not even sharing this with my people. They gotta, it, it gotta go. And I hate to waste food, but it really has to go. Ugh. Ugh. 
How am I gonna try the bowels now with that flavor in my mouth? Let me get some of this. Let me get some of the flow back. All right. That's, that actually, they got rid of the taste. That was a cleanser. So let me go get the bowels, and I think I'm also gonna get the ramen shaker to show you guys how that tastes. Um, be right back. Guys, I feel really sick right now from that bacon. I'm not kidding. It's not just because I didn't like it. It was just very weird and I'm feeling nauseous, but I promise you I would try everything, so I'm gonna do that. Let's get the bow, let's get the ramen shaker, and let's get the sweet lumpia, and we're gonna try those. So where the ramen shakers are, guys, right in this little bin. So I'm gonna get one, 6.49, they're chilled. Very good. Guys, so they have three separate bowels, but you can also do a trio. At least I hope they still have that deal. They had it when they first opened. So let's see if they still have it. Hi. Hi. Can I get, you guys still have the bow trio if you want one of each? Yes. Okay, can I do that please? And then also a sweet lumpia. Okay. And for the bow, we have each or an Oh, one of each. So you can get like three of the same, or you can get one of each, guys. So it's really cool. Oh, I think you're giving it to me. Sorry. Order three, you get two dollars off and a free sauce. Two dollars off and a free sauce. And how much is the sauce if you don't do the trio? Sixty cents. Sixty cents. And y'all need that sauce. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys, but you guys need that sauce. <laughs> guys, also they usually have what is their best kept secret to me? Plants and chips. But I don't think they have any out right now. I'm gonna ask them later. Um, but the plants and chips are bomb. So make sure you guys get that too. All right guys, hope you can hear me. It's getting a little bit louder in here and they're playing music um, at the Jungle Cruise. But we got some more food. So we got the bows, um, we got the sweet lupia and the ramen shaker. Like, as I was telling you guys earlier, they usually have plants and chips here. I forgot the price of them. I haven't gotten them in a while, but they do have plants and chips. She said they are sold out. She doesn't know if they're sold out today. Not sold out, I think it's out because y'all just open. <laughs> and nobody even gets the plants and chips except me. So I don't know if they, their distributor just doesn't, uh, just didn't provide it, but I'm gonna ask someone else because that was a girl at the register. She told me to ask one of the girls behind, but the plants and chips are bomb. That's one of their best kept secrets, okay? Um, and it's not something you need to order behind. It's like a grab and go. So you can just come here, get plants and chips, and take it with you to the park. That's one of my favorite snacks here. Okay, so we got the trio of bows. So you can either get the bows themselves. I forgot the price, um, but the trio is $15.99 and you get a free sauce. Now, if you get them individually, they're their own individual prices, and the sauce will be an extra 60 cents. So you get the sauce for free with the $59.99. Um, also, they don't take AP discount here. But it's fine. Okay, um, let's get into this. So they come like this, guys, like almost like a little package. Um, and we're just gonna try all of them, so. I really need to cut it because I don't know which one is which, which I think they should do a good job at if you're buying all three. Because, you know, maybe you're sharing it, like maybe you're getting all three but you're only eating one and your vegetarian friend is eating the veggie one, and you know what I mean? Um, but hey, so let's see what this first one is. I'm going to cut them in half eventually. Alright, so this looks like veggie. Right? We think it's veggie. Because the other one is bulgogi and the other one is like chicken lime. So let's try this, see if it's any good. Oh! Oh! Okay. Um, I think the chef forgot the salt. Because <laughs> I taste other seasons in here. I taste curry, I taste turmeric, I taste onion powder, garlic powder, honey, I can break down the food, okay? They call me Chef Boy Arbri out in the streets. I can break it down, honey, but you forgot the salt. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good, it's fine for vegetarians. I don't know if this is vegan. I don't know what they, if they use any animal product. Um, but I think it just needs a little bit more salt. It's a very easy and, and light flavor. But something is exotic about it. But let's try it with this sauce. This is just a spicy sauce. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, we we're back we're back in here. We are back in here. Guys, you need the sauce with it. That's it. Um if you get this by yourself, pay the extra 60 cents for this sauce. You're gonna need it for this veggie bell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sauce. 
Uh, they told me it's a spicy sauce. I don't know the exact flavor of it, but you guys have to get the sauce with this or get the trailer that comes with the sea sauce because otherwise you just be like, ah, like there's spice there, but not flavor, you know? So, yeah, the veggie one, good with the sauce, without it, mm -hmm. bye. <laughs> Let's try the next one. All right, guys, so the next one I've been into, you know what? I said I want them to label the bags, which I still think is true. Like, if somebody doesn't eat beef or, or red meat and they want the chicken one, they don't want to bite into it first, you have to cut all of them? Like, no, what if I just want to grab and go with my homies, you know? But it's also kind of fun to like open and be like, which one do I have next? So you can look at it both ways. But we opened up the chicken lime one next, guys, yes. So yeah, I think this is just like a chicken lime flavor. I'm seeing some kind of veggies in here. I'm gonna taste it, maybe it's potato, I don't know. I actually forgot to look at the descriptions of it, but I don't think they're up there. I think just the flavors are up there with the prices. Um, but let's see guys, let's see if the chicken got any flavor. Yup. <laughs> yup. Look. Whoever making the chicken one, y'all need to uh, let the veggie person go on break and take over for that because this is good. I don't even need the sauce. I'm not getting the strong tangy flavor even though it's chicken lime. But the lime is probably what enhance the flavor of this. Ooh. Yeah, and there's potato in here. Wow. That one has a lot of flavor, guys. I'm into the chicken. You see in there? I mean, the bow is thick. This is a thick. If you're not used to bow, you shouldn't come here at all. <laughs> like, if you don't like dough, you know what I mean? Because it's a thick, like, bow dough, but uh huh. Yep. Chicken one's a winner. Don't even need to say nothing else. Not spicy. Very Seasoned very, very well. Um, I didn't even put sauce on this. Let's, let's see it with the sauce. But that enhances anything. Are they kind of like yeah, <laughs> the sauce, the sauce is just bomb. <laughs> Makes it even better, but it was good without it. Okay, so the chicken one, yes, guys. Last but not least, guys. Why did I cut this open? Excited, like, what do I have next? Literally, it's only one more. It's only one more flavor. I'm just like way too excited. But this is the beef bulgogi. Okay. So I'm seeing carrots in there. I'm seeing beef. I feel like I see grilled onions, but I don't know. But let's try it and see if it's any good, guys, without any sauce. Let's see if the flavor is bomb on its own. Mm. Yep, that's good. <laughs> don't need sauce. Oh, this is... It's giving me a little spice, too. I like it. Not spicy. Just a little kick. Oh, yeah. This also has potatoes. This is really good. Like, actually, I like this one a lot. Yeah. All right. So the beef one, you can eat by yourself with no sauce. But I'm talking if you don't get the trio with the free sauce, you know. If you're just coming to buy one and you're like, do I need this sauce? I mean, the sauce is bomb. I'm always telling you to pay the extra sixty cents. But if you're trying to cut corners, I would say just get. Um, you can get the beef and the chicken without the sauce. The veggie, you need the sauce with it. Uh -huh. Wow, this is good, really good. I just put the sauce on it. That's so look. I might just have to get another sauce for later. I don't know. It's bomb. The sauce is bomb, like for real. So, um, all right, guys. Now let's try the ramen shaker. All right, guys. Now let's get into the popular ramen shaker salad. Um, it is six forty nine. This is what it looks like, guys. So it looks like you have your noodles, some veggies, some carrots, maybe a zucchini is that in there? Um, yeah, and then there are some cashews on top that look like they, I don't know if it's a sweet or a salty, but they're definitely, look, see? Definitely coated with something. Um, and then a dressing on top. So let's give this a try, you guys. Now, I don't like cold salads. Okay, that sounded crazy. All salads are cold. I don't like cold noodle salads, okay? Um, but this one I've had before when it first opened, and it's bomb, okay? I'm already gonna tell you guys it's bomb because I've had it before. I'm not gonna front. Uh, but I also think it's great because you could close this up. So let me show you guys. Let me open it for you and show you guys, okay? 
so you up. You lift, ooh. All right, so you lift off this part, right? Bam, she's still in there. Look, she's not going anywhere. And you have this, right? But when you take this part out of it, Ooh, child. Okay, it's not working. No, I'm joking. So this is where your stuff is. This is a lid. So you can shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. No, but you shake this up, eat a little bit now, and take it with you on a ride. Like, y'all know, if y'all go on Pirates of the Caribbean, child, by the time I see the first Jack Sparrow, I'm already trying to snack, okay? So this is something you can take with you. You don't have to eat the whole thing right now, which I really, really, really like, okay? But let's try it. Um, Let's put a little bit of the sauce. I don't know what kind of, let me see if it says on here what kind of. Okay, well it must be like a sesame. It says onion vinaigrette dressing with sesame seed oil and all that in there. So, some kind of sesame situation, guys. But let's try it. I don't know if you need all of it on the salad. I like, ooh, memories, y'all, it's good. I only like to put a little half, and you know what? I poured it in there, but see, there's like pieces of, I don't know, is that pieces of ginger, like in the dressing, because it didn't shake up all the way? I don't know, I'm not gonna put all of it though, just some of it. And then I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna eat one of these. Mmm, it has a sweet flavor. Ooh, what a kick, here's the kick. <laughs> I love when I get the kick afterwards. But I put that in there, and then I actually put this cover on top to shake it. This cover, this cover you used to save, this cover you used to shake because you get more space to shake. I love it, no what's up, mm -mm. what's a while you work. Okay. Mix it up. Let's try it. Ooh, guys, looking real. I feel like I, I, feel like I remember this and I think I really did like it last time I had it. So, I think I need a little bit more dressing actually. Um, I am into this. I think on a hot day, this is great. It's quick. You don't have to wait in line to get this. Like, listen, let me tell you something also about Tropical Hideaway. Like, when you come around 12 and 1, you see the line out there. Most of the time, that line is for the whip. So, or any of the whips. So, you go in a little bit further for the bow. So, it's a separate line. It's not one line for you all. And then the registers are its own line. Because this guy behind, was behind me with the bows. And he was like, oh, I'm waiting for the register. I was like, oh, actually, we're waiting for bows. You should go up front to the register on the side. So just come in, take a little quick step. Because you may be waiting in a long line that you don't even have to wait in because you want the bows. Or the ramen shaker. This is a grab and go. You grab it by the little um, thing that I showed you. And you go straight to the register, honey. You don't have to wait, OK? Mm. Well, Better with the more dressing. The veggies in here are very crunchy, which I like. This is a great cold salad, you guys. Cold noodle salad. I don't like cold noodle salads, um, but this one is really good with the flavor, and it makes sense. And you take it with you. No, ooh. You know what I just thought about? Hack alert. Guys, I literally just thought about this hack looking at that sauce like dang I can't wait to get back to the sauce when I stop recording. Put it on these noodles. Bomb.com. So get the noodle <laughs> get the noodle shaker. Get get that extra 60 cents uh, sauce and put it on your noodles. Okay? After you put the dressing, you gotta put the dressing too and the, the cashews. That's a hack. That's bomb.com. Alright you guys. Let me finish this and then we're gonna get into the sweet lumpia. Alright guys, so last we're gonna last we're gonna try the sweet lumpia. Um with come which comes with a pineapple dough whip sauce. <laughs> guys, I'm more into that sauce really honestly. Um but here's what the lumpia looks like. So 
I feel like this is a, a Filipino dish if I'm not mistaken. I could be incorrect. Uh, if I didn't say it before, this is $6.99. You get two. It comes in a little packet that you can just grab and go. And it comes with the sauce. So, you know what? I actually want to try the sauce first, y'all. Who am I kidding? They told me it was a pineapple dough whip sauce. Gotta try it. I don't know how to tie this, but I'll just I'll try to do it like this, but I really just want to lick the cover. <laughs> Y'all. Tell me this don't taste like a pineapple dough whip for real. You guys, this is like really, really good. Um do I need the lumpia? <laughs> or can I just drink this? Like this is so bomb, you guys. Okay, one sec. My fingers are like getting sticky. Let me, one sec. Alright, so it looks like it's coated in sugar, cinnamon sugar actually. And it's like a crispy, I want to say it's like a dessert egg roll almost. But let's try it and see if it's any good. I'll try it first and then I'll dip it in the sauce. Oh, okay. So I know that it's filled with cream cheese. I think little things of pineapple. Okay. Oh yeah, this piece of pineapple. Okay, this is really good, you guys. This is my only issue with this. It looks like it like looks weird. So it's one of those things like it messes with your mental. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm eating it and it tastes really delicious, but the cream cheese just looks like chunky and weird. I'm just like. Oh, I don't want to look at it, but like when I'm eating it, it's good. Like the flavor's there. The flavor's really good, actually. There's pieces of pineapple in here. Let's dip it in the dough whip sauce. Mm. Yeah, that dough, that dough whip sauce is bomb. That pineapple dough whip sauce is bomb. This is really good. It's really good. I just wouldn't get it again because the texture is making me, it's throwing me off. Like the cream cheese. Ooh. Um. But it tastes good. It tastes good. So I'm gonna recommend it. It's just one of those psychological things. When you're looking at something and it has like bumpy, lumpy cream cheese in it, I'm just like, ugh. But like if I close my eyes and eat this, this is bomb. The flavor is there, the pineapple chips in there are good, but it's just throwing me off like looking at it, you know? So I would recommend getting that. Um, especially if you, if you like cream cheese. Put cream cheese in there, and I got sugar all over the place. Um, you're gonna love that. It's really good. It, the flavor is bomb. <laughs> I wish I could finish it. Maybe I'll buy it from the other end. It's just like looking at the cream cheese is making me feel, you know? So, yeah. That's good, you guys. You gotta get it. Let me just finish everything. Now I'm gonna give y'all fun with you. Okay. Alright, guys. So, let's talk about it. Um, Tropical Hideaway, yes, you should come here. So the first thing we had were all of those whips. Um, I love the loaded whip with the candy hibiscus and the coconut. I thought it was amazing. You don't really need those chocolate sticks in there, but um, they're in there, so you might as well eat them. <laughs> but uh, I loved it. I love that they had like mandarin oranges in it and other tropical fruits like mango and pineapple. So that was really, really good. Um, the float is obviously good, you know, it's pineapple juice. If you guys didn't know, you can get floats with rum in it if you go to Tangro Terrace, look at my breakfast video, and if you go to Disneyland Hotel and they have spice rum and coconut rum. So if you guys are looking for a little lit lit and you want to float, go there to the hotel. Um, but if not, come here and you guys know they have orange flavor, uh, orange flavor swirl, no, not swirl, orange flavored, what is it called? Icy, slushy, whatever. Um, pineapple and raspberry. So you can get swirls and get them individual. So you can get any kind of float you want with the pineapple juice um, if you want the individual flavors or you get swirled. I got the raspberry pineapple swirl. It was really, really good. Um, my loaded whip had the pineapple orange swirl, which was also really good. Um, and then we tried that regular pineapple float with the bacon. Y'all, to not, let me tell you something. I would be mad at you if you spend a dollar to get that bacon. I don't care if you want it for Instagram. Y'all better repost somebody else's photo and give them photo credit because that was not good at all, you guys. That bacon was not the right bacon for that dish, for, for that pineapple whip. If you get a candied bacon, yes, but they told me it was candied bacon and it wasn't. It was like a smoky bacon. So it made me feel sick when I was about to order the bowels. I'm not kidding, y'all. I would not get that again, ever. Do not waste your extra dollar on the bacon. Um, so now to the bowels. They have chicken lime, they have vegetarian, and they have... Um, 
people gonna give you. So you get the trio, like I said, which you save a little bit and you get the sauce for free. The sauce is six, it's a spicy sauce, 60 cents extra if you want more, if you want it without getting the trio. Get the sauce, okay? The sauce is bomb.com. Like, we use that sauce on more than just the bowels. You guys saw, also put on the ramen shaker. So get the sauce regardless. Um, but yeah, I think in order of what I like the most, beef is number one chicken is number two veg is number three if you're a vegetarian I, you're gonna really like the veggie one um, it was just missing a little salt for me but the, the spiciness was there there was like spices in there they just forgot to add salt like legit um, so yeah those are really good guys if you don't like bows though you don't like thick dough you gotta skip it like I can't you know you have to like bows to like these or you're not gonna enjoy it um, what else is really good oh we had the ramen sugar which I knew was already was already gonna be good um, that is just like a really nice, light, crunchy, cold salad. I think it's perfect for the summertime. Even if you don't like um, cold noodle salads, because I don't, and I still don't. I love this one, but if I go anywhere else and try it, like another one, I still don't like them. But this one is really good. Comes with the cashews that are kind of like sweet and spicy. Comes with the veggies in it. I really love that, you guys. Um, so get it. And you can and grab and go. I only ate half of mine, and I'm taking the rest in my backpack for when I go on a ride or something I can have later, you know? Uh, we also got the sweet lumpia, guys. That one was weird. It is delicious. It is amazing. The flavors are there. It's just the texture was freaking me out. Like it was like clumpy and like cream cheese that looks clumpy. It's just ooh, I just started thinking about all kind of other nasty stuff, you guys, and I just couldn't do it. There are pineapple chunks in there, and it's like a crispy, um, almost like a think about an egg roll, like a dessert egg roll, you know, crispy. Uh, coated with cinnamon sugar and the pineapple dough whip sauce, y'all. Which y'all didn't tell me about. I didn't know it came with that. <laughs> I was like, what? That is good in itself. So you can get that pack, put it on top of ice cream, um, take it somewhere else, put it, make it your dipping sauce for another churro, honey, if you don't want to deal with this. I don't know if they sell that on the side, but I'm sure you can always ask somebody, like, hey, just, come on, just let me just give you 60 cents for this, like, the spicy one, you know? Like, do that, you know? Um, but this is one thing I wanted to tell you guys. I couldn't do it today because the floats were melting and I didn't want to leave here. I wanted to hurry up and record so you guys can at least get kind of the shape of it because they do melt kind of fast. A little hack is if you go behind me, which is over here by the Tropical Hideaway in Bengal Barbecue, next to Bengal Barbecue they have like an outpost. I forgot what it's called. Oh, the Adventureland Bazaar. Right there, you can't see it, I can see it. Um, they usually have packets of tahini. They used to have it over here next to Jungle Cruise, but the, it's wherever they sell the fruit and the pickles. They have little packets of tahini that you can put on your pineapples when you bite over there. I don't know if it costs extra. I think it's free, but maybe since so many vloggers know about it, they start charging people. I don't know. But if you go over there and get a packet of tahini and put it on top of your, your dough whip, Thank me now, thank me later, okay? Just just do it and leave it in the comments and tell me what you think. That's gonna change your world, okay? And I think those free are, those packets are free over here. I think they also have it somewhere in California Adventure. Cause I remember for Food and Wine Festival when they had that uh, cotton candy that I reviewed on my um, Hidden Treats video, they had the tahini in there. So it was really, really good. So I know they have it all over the parks, you guys. And people usually do this hack and put it on their dough whip. So make sure you guys try it, okay? So thanks you guys so much for hanging with me. Um, we showed you the Aladdin merchandise. I'm so excited for the movie. Uh, I love how this guy is just like posted in my video. Hi sir. Hey, get back. <laughs> um, but I love the merchandise, you guys. I love the magic carpet beach towel. Um, I love the little lamps. I love the genie backpack. But eighty dollars, like y'all keep y'all trying it. Y'all keep raising the price. Of it. Come on. Um, but it was really cute, so I'll probably get it. I love the GD hat. Oh my god, it was just so cute, guys. I don't know. Uh, I am gonna go see the movie this weekend. I know it's out this weekend. Um, I'm excited to see it. I love Will Smith. I don't care what y'all say about the GD. I mean, yes, it was kind of weird to me, too, in the first look trailer. <laughs> but I know Will. He's gonna come through. Okay, he's gonna come through. So make sure you guys check out the video. Or make sure you guys check out the movie. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and comment below and let me know if you saw Aladdin and if you liked it. Let me know if you've been here. I know everybody's been here, but look, there are some people who have not been to the park since it opened, okay? It only opened five months ago. So leave us and our coins alone, okay? We're gonna take a minute, but we're here, okay? And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye! 
All right, so I know I just did the outro, but right there is the bazaar. I'm actually gonna go and test my theory and see if they still have tahini and if they'll give you one. So let's see. Oh, you guys, look, see, it's right here. Mango slices, it's, it's inside now. Cause they caught on to what people do. So I don't think it's anymore on the side, but you can also come here and get snacks and drinks. Guys, I'm, I'm right. They, yes, they, I just showed you how they have it um, in the mango slices but they also do have it for free if you just ask them because I asked the girl I was like I see you guys put it in the mango slices but you guys also sell them she's like oh no we still give them out for free individually so yeah make sure you guys go over there and get your tahini packets for free if you want they give you one and you can come over here to Tropical Hideaway or even um, get another Dole Whip at the Tiki Bar and put it on top and it will change your life guys I'm not kidding try it out and let me know in the comments below if you like it also guys what I don't like which is new. I, I know I already did my outro. But when you go to a Tiki Bar now, you can't just go and order a Dole Whip. You have to do a mobile order. It's for mobile order only, which is weird to me. Like, you shouldn't make it that exclusive because there are people who are here who are older, who may not know about the app, or just people who, even if you're younger, you just don't use apps and phones like that. Like, that's not right. You should be able to still order that. So they basically tell you, oh, if you wanna, you wanna order one, you have to go to Tropical Hideaway. Like, what? Y'all only for mobile order right now? That's weird to me, but whatever, guys. Um, I have my Dole Whip fill for the day, and uh, I'm real full, so I'll see you guys next time, for real this time. Bye!